on the Ash Lux. Good morning. Welcome back to the Goju Karate Center. Let's get started. Again, lumbering up a little bit, get the arms moving. Joints rotating. Swimming tuck draw. One on the forward, one on the back. Oh, my sound on my sound is on yet. Yeah. Good morning. Bend the wrists. Rotate. Rotate. Stretching into the hips. <clears throat> Push to the side. Easy at first as you limber up. Concentrate on the back leg as you stretch forward. You feel the back of the leg, Achilles tendon stretching. I am well, thank you. Um, uh, yeah. Um, it's like normal. <laughs> it's Monday, it's time to train. Um, this morning I'm planning on doing lots of chi chi and sledgehammers. And the idea being to increase the weight. I'm fortunate in that I have a lot of gear and equipment to use at my disposal. If you only have one chi chi, then you increase the number of reps that you try to achieve. Um, and that's going to improve your endurance. That's uh, my plan today. So, <clears throat> starting off with the short handle, four kilogram chi chi, and just doing some exercises, and we're gradually going to increase the weight. 
20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Oh, left hand doesn't feel so much in control. In between, let's just do a little kata, so we're super setting, sun chin. Kikagawa's last trip here to South Africa when we were lucky enough to have him in our dojo and at Palm Court and obviously in the Cape. Uh, he kept saying that Sanjin Kata is basics, it's foundation. And you can do it many different ways. So if you find that you really want to push yourself, increase the number of punches, increase the number of grabs, increase the number of more washi, okay? You can do 50, 50, 50, 50 of each one, it doesn't matter. It's not a problem. Just remember when it comes time to do a grading or a test, to do the cutter within the framework of the school. That's it. All right, so we did 24 reps worth 4 kg. I'm gonna try and up it now to the 5 kg. Try and see if I can do 16 reps. And you'll notice that I drop in eights. So I break it down into, um, I drop by 30% if you want to think of it that way, um, with the increase in weight, although the weight is not necessarily 30% more. Okay.
14, 15, and 16. Don't cheat by not going down properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We Let's hit another sanction. Oh, let's up it. Sanction dining. Sanction dining. extra punches. Right now, I know if there were some people watching this, they would be pulling their hair out. How dare I change the sacrosanct cutters? So, hello Mia, hello Barbara. Uh, okay, a little bit bigger, 12 and a half pounds, it's about six kilograms. Not the heaviest chishi in the dojo, stack of interest. I'm about halfway to uh, the big monsters in the dojo. We have a couple. one way bigger.
one step three times every day. Add a few extra steps, make the cut interesting. All right. All right, six to eight reps. Because I did 12 on the last one. This is two by 10 pounds, 8.8 .8 kilograms, I think, in kilogram measurements. One of the important things that people don't understand about dojo training is when you go to the dojo, you get corrections from the sensei and say, giving you feedback. It doesn't look like this, it looks like this, your hand must be closed, your chamber's not here, it's here, etc. So it's corrections. Second thing when you get to the dojo, there's usually somebody to train with, formalized classes. The third thing is that dojo usually, especially at Okinawa and Port Jiu dojo, usually has equipment. Usually, not all the time. And some dojos, concentrate, we got a message from somebody who's their dojo is a gorgeous dojo in Malaysia, and, but they're just doing sport. And that's okay. If your focus is 100% on sport, then you need the sporting equipment. You need the cones, the hoops, the little hurdles and things to, to allow yourself to do ballistics. Um, but in a traditional classical sense, you need to have things like Chishi, Ishishashi, Kongo Ken, Makiwara, a um, whole bunch of traditional training apparatus. Sometimes it's financially impossible to buy that apparatus or have it made, but you know, scavenge, think a little bit naturally and maybe you'll find a solution. Um, my dojo has it, at a, at a certain point I think I had class in 70 chishi, which means any of my classes can have a class, if there's a class of 20, the whole class can have a chishi to train with from dinky little half kgs, one kgs to two and a half kgs. Um, then we start to take off on the volume of chishis in the four, five, six, there's only one of those, so um, there are only a handful of people who train with it. So, yeah, when you get to the dojo and you see the equipment and it looks like it's getting lots of dust because I'm just training, ask Sensei, can we use the equipment? All right, let's see if we can do this. One, two, three. big jump, it's a two kilogram jump, um, and the shoulders, even though they are a little bit warm, um, whew, more training to get back to this. This is what I used to throw around for kicks at a point, that's why it was made. One, right, come on, might be two spots, two, three, Control. Hey.
So let's see if we can do 16 with the 5. The left hand's going to be problematic. Uh, I can already feel the wrist is going heavy. Calm down. Starting to sweat. <sighs> All 
Right, eight to 12 reps. If we hit 12, we can upgrade weight. If we don't, then this becomes our finish point. One, two, three, whoopsie. Four, five, six, not so much the weight on the shoulders and that, it's that when it comes forward and it tilts like this, how much can the wrist handle? At the moment the weight's winning. One, two, three, four, If you follow the breakdown, 24 reps, 16, 12, 8, and you get each uh, exercise to that volume, that number, you end up doing 60 reps, which is pretty good. Right, might be a little spotty, so you might see the left hand coming out of it. One. Oh boy, that's it. Two. Do a ten show cut up. Ten show.
Uh, no, it's up to 12 kilo chichi, so it's uh, eight and a half. It's, yeah, crazy. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Mia. This is about 12 and a half kilograms. This is the biggest shishi in the dojo. It's also a very long stem, so it's the same as a sledgehammer. Um, and this one weighs just under 12 kilograms. It's 25 pounds. Hurika! Brian trains with this quite a bit. So just to give perspective to how strong Brian is, for somebody who's a little bit shorter than me, this is the, the chishi that he is, is his challenge chishi at the moment. Uh, he often will train with a red or a green when he does chishi and he does volumes. Then if you watch the channel, every now and then you see another young lady called Claire Stewart. And Claire generally throws this chishi around the dojo. The very big chishi 25 pounder. Um, that is pretty much, we only have one guy in the dojo who dares to train with it or try to train with it. And that's just because he's a massive man. And that's uh, Richard Bradfield, who is one of my fourth stands. And I am a dwarf in comparison to Richard. I think there's one very big guy down at Palm Porter, uh, Cleve, and he's also, I'm a dwarf compared to these guys. They pick up most of the, the normal size stuff in the dojo like it's nothing. Um, so, shout out to the big guys. Hopefully they'll be all training at some point um, on a Saturday afternoon. We might get some footage of some really big, big guys doing karate. Um, they, train with 25 pound chishis, they train with 24 or 32 kilogram kettlebells, they train with the combo kin like it's nothing, they play fast, they're big monsters compared to small dinky guys who are like less than six foot. All right, oh. so for us the immortals, a uh, little bit of sledgehammer, and again, I'm gonna be just trying to do two sets, and I'm going to try and do volume with weight and then reduce volume with a higher weight. So uh, 14 pound chishi or sledgehammer and just do pull strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm um, only training with two weights, therefore 35 reps. Uh, oh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 8, 29, 30, 1, 32, 3, 34, 35. So we have 25 reps, second round. My dad's old sledgehammer. Uh, weighs in at 16 pounds. I can't tell you what that is in kilograms. It's just a little bit heavier. All right, about a kilogram. Oh, one, two, three. More practice, Barbara, more practice. It's brutal, more practice. <sighs> but did you die, Barbara? Or was it just a little sore? Hey, it's the new t shirt. Shovel some coal. All right, remember it's double action. Mind the elbow joints on the extension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 32, 3, 34, 35. Man, the forearm. That's like 35 squats. Lots of squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes I find it, eight, getting old, nine, ten, yes I eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 34 arms burning. 31, 32, 3, 4, 35. Keep going, Barbara. Just keep going. A little bit, little bit. Just trying to let the arms recover. It's not the legs, but the arms. It's this hand in front. The weight just pulls this poor forearm. <sighs> By about 28, you can start feeling the arm just starting to want to cramp up. Right, so we're going to try and get 25. The 35 25 split. And heavy the weight. And Oh, it's like another 50 squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25. Um, 
front. Huge strike, feel it here. No stick, just hands. minutes of live stream okay I think that is it for this morning hope you all have a good workout sometimes challenge yourself one of the important things about this process of stressing the body and then seeing how far the body can manage I found when I was coaching a lot of boot camps that people get very comfortable with weight and they need some kind of motivation to take a bigger weight, to train a little bit harder. What happens is their training does this, it starts to peak and then it plateaus. And yes, you can build a, a very good condition base level with the plateau, but if you want to continually develop, you have to change, you have to pick it up again. And so some people are reluctant to progressively overload, which is the correct term for the process, to introduce a higher weight, to introduce a higher degree of resistance. Always try to try and lift slightly heavier weight and try and build the same volume of repetitions. Higher number of repetitions, more endurance based. Lower number of repetitions, more uh, power and strength based. Okay, and you want to have a mixture of both. There are going to be times where you want to do a lot of endurance and times where you definitely want to do a lot more power and strength. You need both of those elements in your training for martial arts. The ladies, very worried about and conscious of becoming big and bulky. Most of the time, this kind of training does not result in that big and bulky because we're doing a lot of volume. And when we're doing volume, we don't tend to build bigger muscles, we tend to tone our muscles down a lot more and we tend to work a little bit. Every time you inject those power and strength sessions where the heart rate is forced massively high, it feels like you're a radiator or a fireplace for about an hour after the session, you're really doing the body a good thing, good job, good service in that you're now actively pushing it to develop a little bit more. And that's going to help. Some people are conscious about cutting 
losing weight that helps with those cutting days where you kind of work so hard that you sweat for an extra two hours um, and the workout doesn't have to be an hour long it can be a 20 minute workout and it can do that that is it from me cheers everybody have an awesome monday next week monday it's easter monday i will definitely be in the dojo and i will be in the dojo on good friday so that we can uh, do these things you've got to just keep it going uh, hope everybody has had a good session this morning thank you very much again barbara for the birthday wishes and mia yeah 49 today one more loop and then i had a half a century goodness gracious me cheers everybody <laughs>